Can you imagine if instead of your business fighting it out with your competitors to get a client, it's actually clients who are competing to get a chance to work with you? Sounds impossible, right? It's actually very much possible. And at this very moment, there's a bunch of businesses out there actually turning down clients because of the sheer number of high rolling clients who want to actually work with them. And they're able to do that because they've established themselves as the go-to experts in their market. And they positioned their brand in such a way that when people in their industry think of how to solve a problem and make sure they get results, their brand is what people think about first. So how can you make your business the go-to expert in your market? That's what we'll tackle in this video. Hey, this is Laura Agachega, founder and CEO of Viral Growth Media, and welcome to our YouTube channel. VGM helps small businesses and solopreneurs in the coaching and consulting space reinforce their business foundations so they can scale, grow, and dominate their industry. And we're always putting out new videos about business growth, scaling, marketing, and so much more. So if you need tips for your own small business, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any new content. If you're working in the coaching and consulting space, one of the first things you try to establish is who your target audience is. And this is what informs your marketing strategies from your content to the different advertising and marketing platforms you plan to tap into. It also plays a huge role in the product or service you'll be offering. You have to make sure that your product or service is relevant to your target audience. But one of the biggest mistakes I've seen coaches and consultants do is make their target audience really, really broad. So they have to have more leads to work with and better chances at booking an appointment or call and closing a deal. It most likely stems from the old 1031 rule that you often hear from veteran salespeople. And it goes, if you can make 10 calls or contacts, you'll get three booked appointments. And from those three booked appointments, you'll close one deal. So the general idea is that the more calls you make, the more sales you'll get. And to be able to make that many calls, you need to get tons of leads. So to do that, they tend to cast a wider net. And it's a solid idea. It's worked enough over the years that it's still a very popular method. It even works very well if you have a product or you're in the retail or buy and sell. But for coaches and consultants, it's an entirely different issue. If you're a coach or consultant, you're probably offering a very specific service that is a fit for a very specific audience. So if you you're casting a wide net, you're likely talking to a bunch of people who aren't interested and have no need in what you have to offer and are simply just not a good fit. You may end up with a bunch of small contracts that take way more time, but don't bring in as much revenue because your service is not as valuable to them. And worse, you might try to tweak or misinterpret what you have to offer just to get a sale and end up blurring your brand or even damaging it. When you're going after anyone and everyone, it doesn't establish you as an expert because what you're showing is that you have a very generic service that everyone else has and can probably do better than you. What you need to do is laser focus your target audience and provide your specific service to a specific niche market so you can turn from a generic coach or consultant into a specialist. And once you're a specialist, you attract people who are a good fit for what you have to offer. And it brings in more business. You know, experts are willing to pay your rate because they know that you are the go-to expert. But that's just it. Laser focusing your target audience is just the first step. Now, you need to make sure that the service you're offering perfectly aligns with their goals and desires. You know, the thing is when you're trying to sell your service to your potential clients, they don't buy the number of coaching sessions or the, the engagement reports you send them every week. What they're buying is the results that you can actually deliver. What they're buying is the goal you can help them achieve. 
So it's important to have a real understanding of your target audience's goals and desires so that you can fit your service and showcase it as the answer to achieving them. And when you're able to do that, that's how you start establishing yourself as the go-to expert in your target market. This doesn't happen overnight. It's a process and you need to be patient and do the work, okay? Your skills, your arsenal of expertise in your service can be developed and enhanced, but the goals and desires of your target market stay the same. The only way to really find out what your target market's goals and desires are is by doing the research. Talk to contacts from your market, set up an interview, or go on forums on LinkedIn or even Quora. And once you have that information, you can start crafting your marketing message. You can even review your offer, make sure that your services are relevant relevant to solving your target market's problems so that you can actually help them achieve their desired results. And if you need to introduce a new method or learn a new skill set, guess what you should do? You should fucking do it. <laughs> The next step is to start pitching your offer to people so you can gather actual market feedback. This step is incredibly important. Each person you talk to, whether you're able to close a deal or not, will help you hone and enhance your offer and build your business to become that go-to expert in your industry. And always listen to the feedback and be ready to hone and enhance your offer, your skills, and your marketing message so that you can actually position yourselves as what your target audience needs to achieve their goals and desires. If you want to see more of our videos, then make sure to hit that subscribe and notification button so that you don't miss out on any new content. And we'd love it if you can click like and leave a comment so we can reach more people. I'll see you guys in the next video.